Hi, in this video we'll set up a GitHub account. GitHub is an online resource that allows you to store your repository remotely, which also allows you to share your work and collaborate with others. This will form a part of a series of videos I'll be making to get started with and using Git for all your projects. Keep an eye out in the description as I'll update it to include a list of videos in the series when available. To get started, open up a browser and navigate to github.com. You can sign up either through the sign up button in the upper right hand corner or the main sign up field on the page. We'll use the sign up button. Click on it to start the sign up process. Enter your email address in the first prompt you'll see. Next you'll need to create a password. Use a strong password or use a password generator if you have one. Next you'll need a username. This is what will appear on all the work you'll be doing with GitHub. If one's not available, just choose another one or a slight variation on what you want. After this, prove that you're not a robot. If you're not a robot, you can click on the create account button next. Next, you'll be prompted to enter a code that was emailed out to you. If you haven't received it, make sure you typed in your email address correctly and wait as it might take a short while to reach you. Once you've entered the code, you'll be greeted with a short questionnaire type prompt to help you get set up with what you might be looking to do. You can skip it if you like or go through the process if you're curious. Next, you'll be hurtled through a cool animation and see the GitHub mascot Octocat while your dashboard is being initialized. Now this space is what you'll see every time you log into your account. On the top you have a row of some of the most common tasks and areas you would want to navigate to. In the middle of the screen you'll see an activity feed of the people or projects you're following. On the left you have an option for either creating a new or importing a repository as well as a timeline of your activity. On the upper right side of the navigation bar you'll see notifications, a list of common tasks you can start, and profile information and settings. Click on your profile to take you to your workspace. This is where you can see some key areas of your work and related information. In the middle of the screen, you could see a visual log of your recent activity showing how often and how active you've been recently. Immediately following this is a description of how the visual graph works. If you're eager to get started, the button marked Read the Hello World Guide will show you how to create your first repository. Directly below that is your contribution activity timeline, which at the moment shows your very first action, which is joining GitHub on a grand old day of April 9th, 2023. This will soon be full of your own work and potentially contributions you'll be making to open source projects. Congratulations, now you have a GitHub account. In the coming videos, we'll be setting it up to use with your local Git account. Also in the works is a simple Git workflow as well. If you haven't installed Git on your machine already, you can watch my video on how to do that. I'll leave the link in the description or in the card in the upper right corner. So subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for that and please hit the like button and share to help me grow. Until then, thank you for watching and goodbye for now.